Welcome to this edition of Wednesday Webinar. My name is Tina Souser. I am a new technology integrationist here at ESU 8. Today's topic is going to be about the advisor dashboard and some of the information and data that it can provide. So what is advisor? It is a web-based view of school, staff, and student data, all organized into a quick reference tool that will help administrators and staff organize and disseminate data in order to individually serve the needs of their students. Okay, let's go ahead and log into their demo site for the advisor dashboard. If you open a browser and you type in advisor-demo, Dot .esucc.org, no www. It's going to, the first time you log into that, it's going to take you to a caution page um, that you'll have to scroll down to the bottom and allow that site to come up. But you should get to this site when you get logged in, and you're going to search for Grand Bend ISD Test Users. Now, once you get there, you have the option of logging in as a system administrator, a high school principal, or a high school teacher. And if you want those different logins to get in and view that, you can send me an email and I can send you the Google document um, if you don't already have that. We are going to, for right now, go into the high school principal login. And once we get logged in, we are at the Advisor Dashboard demo site. Okay, let's begin by looking at um, a student here. So I'm going to type in the name of a student in the search bar. And then once the students come up, I can just click on their name to get the overall information. So we're going to look at the academic dashboard here in a minute, but if we click over on the student information tab, what we see here is we get the contact information for the student, the demographic information, including um, parent or guardian and their contact information, as well as date of birth. Um, if you scroll down, you also see information on the program status. So if the student is in HAL or ELL, SPED, any of those um, programs. Um, scrolling down, there's also other student information if they're um, a ward of the state, um, an immigrant, any of those that are checked will give you that um, overview of the student. There is also the opportunity to have a list of the special education services that that student has received. Um, okay, so let's go over to the academic dashboard. When we click on the tab at the top, as you see, there's other tabs that come up underneath that with the academic dashboard. The overview of the academic dashboard is going to give you an overview of different data that is collected on that student. So if, you, if we scroll down, it's going to show you an overview of the attendance and discipline. Um, it's going to give you an overview of state assessments, other assessments, all of this um, overview information of the student throughout the years. And if, as you can see, there's a metric status over here that's color coded. The red generally means that it's below goal. Um, green means that it's met. And all of those are down here to help you understand that. But if I hover over those, you can see that it's going to break down the information even a little more for you and give you percenta percentages of that for per date. Okay, now let's slide over to the next tab in the academic dashboard and look at attendance and discipline. So if I click on that tab, um, and you have to know that you have to be, so if you're on the teacher level and your administrator or, or people that set this up decided not to give um, you access to the discipline tab, all you would see here is attendance. But right now I'm logged in as an administrator. Um, they may give you the opportunity to see the discipline as well, but just know that that, that is a choice by the district. Um, so if I scroll down in this screen and I look at this, uh, we've got everywhere from daily attendance rate, and again, um, color coding to tell us what it tells us what it was within the last four weeks, last eight weeks, year to day, and prior year. There's no data there because there was no information added to the prior year. Um, 
But if you keep scrolling down and, and you look, there is more. This is talking about days absent, but if I click on this more tab over here and click on one of the charts below that, I can drill down to see more information about the student and the days they were absent. And if I look at this, um, year to date, that student has 10 unexcused absences. So you can drill, drill down to see those specifics. And, and as you can see, it breaks it down within weeks and, and by the year. And you can close that and then if you scroll down yet and you see the discipline, you can also drill that down and see an incident log which will tell you the date, the incident code that was applied to it, a short description and then if any action was taken because of that. So if you look at this student, um, there was a state offense, but no action was taken upon the school district um, with that. So that's what's recorded. Um, and as you can see, any of these options, you get a lot of data in there, but if you wanna be more specific, if you choose the drill down option, you'll get more details about what all of that means. Let's take a look at the state assessments. So when I click on that tab, it's gonna give me an overview of uh, the scale score and how they performed. Um, the status bar also gives you a little bit of information there at the beginning level. And again, over here, if you click on the more, you can drill down to the objectives for each area and how they performed on each objective. And you can see that for each curriculum area. So that gives you more information about why they're at this level. Now we're gonna, going to go over to the other assessments, and this is where you're going to see the MAP testing data. It will show their score and their percentile rank. So here's the information based on each curriculum level again. And if you drill down, you can see a historical chart of their data for each grade level that they've taken the MAPS test. Um, and you can see the strands and how they performed there for each level. And again, each one of these is a different code and it means a different thing. All of that information can be found down here at the bottom. So you can evaluate based on those codes. Let's take a look at grades and credit now. This is where you are going to find information on the student's current grades. Um, and if you scroll down, you can see it, it drills it down, failing grades three out of seven, um, prior failing grades. But again, if I go across here, I can see a histogram um, of those failing grades. And I can, be, I can use this slider and I can begin to see trends if there are any of um, failing grades for this student. So that's a very powerful tool. If I come down here to the credit accumulation, um, and I click on more. I can drill down to see cumulative credits for that student. Now we're gonna, going to go on and take a look at the advanced academics and the college and career ready. These two tabs only contain data if they pertain to the student. So it, if there's no data for the student, it will just remain empty. Um, but if I go over here to advanced academics, it's going to break it down again into subject area. And as you can see, this student has no data entered in there. Um, but these are the opportunities. If they did have them, you'd have the details right here. Over to college and career ready. Again, this one is only if it pertains to the student. Uh, but if you look, if they've taken these tests, you can drill down and see how they performed on those tests. Again, the student has no data in there because it doesn't apply to the student. Let's go over and take a look at the early warning system. This system will give teachers and administrators the ability to um, and awareness to intervene 
with students who are having issues in school or who, or who might be at risk for dropping out. Um, the early warning system is based on attendance, behavior, and grades. And each of those um, is set up under five matrix uh, daily attendance, school code of conduct, state reporting offenses, and then failing math or failing English grades. If you look, um, again, you have this color code and this uh, color right here is a, is a caution warning. Um, and you can drill down those again to see more information if it's available um, to really dive into why there is the warning on that student. Now, the intervention catalog works really well with the early warning system. This catalog gives you the opportunity to assign interventions to students or to see what intervention a student has in place. And if you look at the top, it gives you an overview of the early warnings the student has. So you can preview that to see what, uh, what interventions they need to have in place. Um, and again, you can choose any of these to assign to a student. Now, back up at the top, the course history. This will allow you to have an overview of all the courses that a student has taken in the past. There's no data on this student right now, but that's the information that that would provide. We've been looking at uh, student data and student information, so let's go ahead and switch now and, and take a look from at the school level. So I'm going to click up here at the top where it says Grand Bend High School, and it's going to take me to the page that's going to give me information about the entire high school. If I click on the school information, this is going to give us an overview of the entire information of this high school. And so if you look here at the top, it's going to give us information about the administrator in that school. It's going to break it down by school population um, up here at the top and give you uh, percentages and numbers for all of that. Student demographic, again, it's going to break it down by um, percentages. Uh, we got ethnicity, race, um, even all the way down to the student population that you have enrolled in each of these programs. And um, the high mobility, all of this other student data is also here too. What you can do is you can come down here and you can click on any one of these percentages. And so if I click on where it says male here under student demographics, it's going to take me out to a page that's going to show me the list of males within this whole school system here and the data that goes along with each of those uh, students. And so you can kind of see an overlay of all the males within that district. And it will also have uh, um, the designation here for each one of those uh, in kind of an overview of the whole thing. Now let's go up and take a look at the staff list and the teachers list. So if I click on this tab right here, this is going to give me um, the staff name, their email address, and their roles within the district. So you're going to get the entire staff at Grand Bend High School listed in this view right here. If I click on the teacher list, it gives me the same information, only this list is limited to only teachers. You don't have the role listed over here. Um, but it gives you their name and their email address. Now, if I if I click on a teacher's name, it's going to give me a list of that teacher's students that are within their classes. And so you get that entire list right there by clicking on, hit on the name. All right, now let's go and take a look at the students by grade, students by demographic, and then student list. So if I click back here on the high school page, and I go back to school information. Um, the students by grade, I can come up here and I can sort them um, by specific grade if I choose. And 
you can get an overview of the whole class. You can see their early warning indicators by class. And if I scroll over, it's also going to show the attendance and discipline as well as the grades. And you can look at that specifically by each grade level. Um, so that's 12th grade. I could switch to 11th grade and see the same details for that grade level. Now, students by demographic, if I click on that one, this is going to allow me to sort the students again by demographic data. So if you remember before when we were talking about the school information we went and clicked, we sorted by all the males within that high school. So if I click on student by demographic and I select male, it's going to pull up all the males within that school. And again, you get your um, early warning indicators, attendance and discipline, and grades. If I go to my students by list, these are any, and, and there's no data under this um, person, but th these are the students that are assigned to you. So if you have specific um, groups that you're assigned to, your students would show up there. To finish up the advisor overview, we're going to log in as a teacher. Try that again. Okay, when I log in as a teacher, I can see each of my classes separated by um, semester and by class. And when I look at those classes, it's going to bring up those students that are in that class as well as um, some of the selected data for those students. So I'm easily able to compare that. If I want to see the entire view of that grid in a larger format, I can click on Maximize Grid and it will give me the, the comparison here across the board. Now I can also go in here and I can say create or see more data. And so then I can go and I can check mark these other fields so that I can see those and compare those two. I can also uncheck those so I'm able to compare only either failing grades or only the data that I want to see. Now one of the other powerful tools in Advisor is, is here where you can create a watch list for stu certain students. Say for instance you have some students that are just below failing. So you can select those students and say that you want to create that watch list for the selected students and then you title it whatever you want to title it and then you can say okay and once you've done that, that watch list comes up here and you can select that watch list from the drop down and then you will see only those students. So you can, can keep an eye on those students just from coming to that watch list to view it. All right, and that's pretty much the, t uh, the teacher view. You can also go here and, and um, select these different fields to watch or to look over those for each student. Um, and again, here's your uh, keys that tells you what each of the, uh, the data means. Um, so basically, you have an overview of your entire classes for each individual student, and you're easily t able to compare those students across the board. All right. Thank you for listening to this version of Wednesday webinar, and I look forward to the next one.